Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Geolocation API to find out the location of a user. Last week I showed you how to make a weather app using just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript using a weather API. In this tutorial we'll show you how to get the user's location so you can automatically show them the weather for their current location when they open the page. First I'll show you how the Geolocation API works. If we type in navigator.geolocation You'll see we have an object called geolocation, which we can call functions on. One of the functions we have is get current position. The first parameter it takes is a success callback, which is a function that gets called when you successfully access the location. And the second parameter is a function that gets called when there's an error. And we have additional options that are optional. If we want to test this out, we can put console.log as the success callback and console.error as the callback for errors. Now if we call this, we see in a few seconds it gives us location, it gives us back coordinates with the latitude and longitude. Now latitude and longitude isn't always going to be all that we need. Sometimes we might want to know what city they're in or what country they're in, so we'll need to use a separate API for that. I will be showing you how to use the open cage data API in order to access the location given the coordinates. This is called reverse geocoding. So go to the website opencagedata.com slash API and click sign up for your API key. Then you'll need to fill out this form. Now we're going to say that we want reverse geocoding. We'll type in JavaScript over here. And the rest of these we can leave blank. Once you've confirmed your email address, you should see a link to the JavaScript tutorial. So click on that link. And now, you'll automatically fill in your API key and give you a code snippet for reverse geocoding. So we can copy this code and use it in our app. So that's what we've tested out over here. We'll put this in the console. It will alert to us the location. So for the location that we put in, which is 51 and 7, it gave us a location in Germany. Now let's make it so we can use the location from our geolocation API. Now let's write a function which we'll call success. And the success function will take the data returned by the geolocation API and call a function on it. So we can put in this data. Instead of latitude, we can say data.coords.latitude. Instead of longitude, we can say data.coords.longitude. Basically, the data returned by the navigator.geolocation get current position function has a coords object, and inside of the coords we have latitude and longitude, so that's where we're accessing it from. Going back to this function, now this is a function we can call as the success callback. So now if we say navigator.geolocation.getCurrentPosition, and as the first one we say success, and the second one we'll say console.error. If there's a success, then we'll see the actual address that it thinks I'm at. So now let's use this code in our weather app to make it so that it will automatically show the, the weather for your current location. So here's the weather app from our previous video. Where we left off, we had it fetch weather for Denver when they load the page. But now instead, we want to load it for the current location. So I'm going to create another object called geocode. And this will be an object containing different functions. One will be to reverse geocode. And that will take in a latitude and longitude. And this is what we're going to get from our API here. I'll just copy this code. And instead of here, we can just say, I'm going to make this latitude and this one longitude. And we can remove these two variables. And now instead of saying alert, we can um, just alert what information we get so we can figure out 
what we actually want because format is going to give us entire street address and everything we only want the city though so we'll just alert this actually we can even do console.log and we can just look at the object in our terminal before we do that let's also make a function that will get the data so let's say get location it's going to be a function that's just going to open up the navigator api which we're just going to have fun function success which is going to take the data and call this function up here which is the um, reverse geocode function so you can say geocode dot reverse geocode data dot chords dot latitude and data dot chords dot longitude and then we call the function navigator dot geolocation dot get current position and pass it success and console dot error and also we want to make sure that this exists because in some browsers this might not be supported so we can say if this is true then we will do this because we don't want to throw an error instead and we can say else just fetch the weather for our default location because we won't be able to fetch the weather otherwise so now instead of calling the fetch weather function on unload I will say geocode dot get location and this will call this function that will have a success function and call the navigator that geolocation and passing this success function and when it finishes it will log in the console this data dot results and eventually we'll want to add a line here that will fetch the weather for the current location we'll need to figure out what actually to put there so let's test this out if you look in the console here you'll see that it prints out the location as components formatted so format gives us the full address here but in components we have the building city continent country etc let's say one just get the city from components so we can do that by saying data dot results dot components dot city and that will give us the city from this location so let's put this inside of our fetch weather function as our search parameter and we'll remove that and now let's say we open this again and now it says weather in Denver now I'm using Windscribe to be able to set my location to another location in the world now you'll see if I change my location to Atlanta and I refresh the page and I'll get weather for Atlanta I hope this video is helpful if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this if you haven't seen my previous videos, go ahead and check those out. If you have any ideas for new videos, please let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day. Bye!